Faith leaders condemning the utter brokenness of pro-abortion activists who protested as Americans celebrated Mother's Day. Joining me now, Bethany and Ryan Bomberger, co-founders of the Radiance Foundation. Bethany, yeah. what kind of person protests on Mother's Day like this? Right? To protest on a day that is set aside to celebrate the beauty of motherhood yeah. really does reveal the utter brokenness and the irony of pro-abortion activism. Ryan, what from your personal story led you to be pro-life? Mm. <laughs> uh, you could say how I came to be. Uh, my birth mom experienced the horror and the violence of rape, but she was courageous enough not only to give me life, but to give me the incredible gift of adoption. I grew up in a family of 15. I have six brothers and six sisters. Ten of us were adopted. Now I'm married to this amazing <laughs> woman, and we have four kiddos. Two of our kiddos were adopted. So I'm really passionate about this because I am that 1% that's used 100% of the time to justify abortion. Bethany, as a mother... Can yes. you wrap your head yes. around what these activists want and specifically what these activists are saying? We've heard some things along the lines of, like, I want to mm. kill babies. It, it just is so hard for me to wrap my head around as a mother of four. How can you? I just think it is really, like I said, utter brokenness, um, thinking that a woman's biology is our enemy. You know what? Men can't conceive, they can't give birth, they can't nurse a child. This is what makes us beautifully and biologically different and true women who understand their worth and the beauty in our biological differences would not be saying the things that we're here saying. They would not be going down this road, that's for sure. Well, to your point, I'm sure there are some, in fact, actually in that crowd who would say men can do these things, but one, that's wrong. Two, that's for a different discussion. Ryan, when, yes. you see, when you see the rage in these protesters, do you ask yourself how they got to this point? Yes, and we do. Through the Radiance Foundation, we're always aware that there's a lot of brokenness. There are those who have gone through abortion, who are post-abortive, both women and the men who experience that. And we take that into account. We understand that there is a deep spiritual wound that happens. And so that's why we're always addressing this issue with love. Those who have gone through that need you know, hope and healing and wholeness. And unfortunately, they get a lot of euphemisms and pink banners that mean nothing, that only further that, that brokenness within them. I think reasonable people can see that there are multiple complexities to this issue. But to the point of those who are protesting the way that they are, going to Supreme Court justices' homes, which in fact can be viewed as illegal, can be viewed as trying to intimidate a branch of the federal government, how does this help their cause in any way, shape, or form, Bethany? I pray that people see what's going on for what it is, and that honestly, we're looking at some mental health issues. We know that when we have issues, it is a beautiful thing to live in America where we can disagree and have different opinions. But when we take it a step further and we're intimidating and we're attempting to really be violent against other human beings, it's never okay. And isn't that ironic? Because what they are protesting about is violence against the most defenseless, which are the unborn. And, and Ryan, these are the people that we've seen in the protests on the ground, but it's not just these activists. It's also individuals like Chuck Schumer getting the entire audience there riled up. He is the Senate majority leader. You also have a Biden administration that has not come out and forcefully condemned the attempt to ruin Mother's Day, the attempt to intimidate these justices. What do you make of that? Well, this is the same party that didn't denounce the mostly peaceful protests during the summer of BLM. So when there are fires burning in the background and they're saying it's mostly peaceful, they were silent. So it's not surprising that with this whole fake feminist movement that they're being equally quiet. And when they're not being quiet, they're doing like the Chuck Schumers and actually suggesting violence against justices. I mean, we know that infamous video where he was outside the Supreme Court. So unfortunately, the Democrat Party is so beholden to the violence of abortion and we're seeing that play out on so many tragic levels. Definitely a situation we will be monitoring. Bethany and Ryan, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks thank so you much. so much.